Today was the first step in the right direction. When we seen uh, the trial of Derek Chauvin, man, oh man, it was intense. It was wild and a classic. You know, when you walk into a courtroom, if you're a black man that's no longer here and you want justice, you know, 90% of the times, most of the time, you're not going to get it. Or you're a black man or a black woman and a white person kills you, 90% of the time, you're not going to get justice. Of um, Emmett Till never got justice but a year later the killers confessed that they killed him but there was nothing they could do about it and now Brianna Taylor Eric Gardner Trayvon Martin list of names that go on and on and on that never got justice and with uh, George uh, Floyd, the Chauvin case, now you had a white judge, you had a white predominant jurors. The first thing you're thinking automatically is like, oh no, we're gonna lose this case because you got a white judge and then you got predominant white jurors. However, despite of what the defense tried to uh, say the defense did their best to uh, say that George Floyd was on drugs in which George Floyd was on drugs at one time or another in his life they tried to say that he was on fentanyl, they tried to say that the car had been knocked out and the car is what killed him but despite of all defense's tricks when it came down to it finally justice was served Justice has been served. For the first time in 400 to 500 years, us black people and immigrants of all kinds, Asians, Mexicans, Latinos, Japanese people, Chinese people, we all can sleep peacefully for tonight because we know that justice has been served for George Floyd and we now know that Chauvin will go to prison for the rest of his life. It just goes to show that no matter how nasty you act, you cannot get by with it. Through it all, the Lord is the final judge and the Lord has the final say so. And we thank God that he definitely intervened for this case for Chauvin to be guilty, guilty, guilty of all accounts. We're so thankful that God answered everybody's prayers on Chauvin being guilty because now we know that he will go to prison for the rest of his life. Like I said, for the first time in 400, 500 years, us immigrants and black people, Asians of all kinds and internationals can sleep peacefully knowing that a convicted man is going away to prison for the rest of his life and there's nothing that he can do about it. And this is the first step in the right direction for Americans, for everybody around the world. Because now people's eyes have definitely been opened and change can be brought, change can be made if we all will work together and come as one. Hopefully this is a start of something new, but like Joe Biden said, this is monumental. This is history. This is a classic. And it will go down as one of the all-time greatest moments in history. The moment that Chauvin got put to prison for the rest of his life. Hey, if Chauvin would have just arrested George Floyd and took him to jail, it would have been alright. If he would have just tackled him and put him down to the ground, it would have been all right. But he just had to put the knee on the neck. That was the killer right there. That was the part that got Chauvin convicted. Was the knee on the neck. 
there are plenty of ways to take criminals down. You don't have to shoot them to take them down. You can hit them with a baton. You can tackle them. You can throw something at them and hit them. Tase them. But this killing a shooting and killing black people, killing black men, has got to stop. And killing immigrants has got to stop. Something has to be done about that. And those that kill black people, that kill black men, that kill immigrants on purpose, they need to be convicted. But I was so happy that we finally got justice for George Floyd.